Oh, this is a big fish. Oh. I keep seeing you get get some slack in your line and then you don't reel. Pull on him. Is he pulling you? Oh, there he goes. Look, I see the swirl out there where he was. No, no, no. Put it, put it between your legs. But put it right there. Pull on it and reel, reel. You got some slack. Pull on him. Pull back on him. <laughs> pulling, pulling. Oh, real, real the slack in. There you go, Jasmine. Oh, oh, we got me. We got me. You got him with two hooks. You got him down here, and you got him in the mouth. Hey guys, how's it going? <clears throat> Hope uh, Zach Hammond Tree here with Legendary Fishing. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, surf fishing that me and Jasmine did. Kind of a surprise thing. Uh, wasn't expecting it at all. <clears throat> but being that uh, we we've been having a lack of fishing here lately. Uh, it is Sunday right after the uh, really hard freeze that we had and stuff here in Louisiana. I even had some snow up in central Louisiana. Today, it's like in the 60s. Could have went today, but just had too much stuff going on. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cook some of this redfish and black drum. Can't even tell you what's what. Um, I mean, when I cut the skin off of it, obviously I knew which one it was, but I just cut them into little portions here what we're gonna do, we're gonna do this uh, redfish and black drum. We got some uh, blackened seasoning on it. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna blacken this, put it over rice, and then put shrimp etouffee on it. There's some of the shrimp, still peeling some of it. We're gonna go ahead and put this on the, uh, on the grill. So, got a couple of shrimp on here just to have those on the grill. Jasmine, back up. It is hot. All right, gonna close that up. And we'll see. Oh, come back when we're doing the uh, etouffee, and then show y'all the end result. Can I go all right, guys. So we got the fish cooking outside. We got the uh, shrimp peeled. Now we've got our etouffee mixture here. We're just gonna add these shrimp. I got them peeled. And add these shrimp to it and what we're going to do is like i said we're adding the shrimp and once this comes to a boil the shrimp will be done and it'll be ready to go so this is the first time we've actually done all of this together i've made shrimp etouffee i've blackened plenty of fish but this will be the first time like, we sat down and actually did the shrimp etouffee and fish and uh, everything served it all together. And I like that I got these big old shrimp here because I like to, to know that I got my seafood in there. You know, I don't want to be sitting there going, hmm, I think I taste it. No, I want to want to know it's there. We started to do um, shrimp and crawfish, but you know, uh, they sell crawfish by the uh, 20 gallon, uh, 20 gallon, 20 pound sacks. You don't need that much crawfish for an etouffee. We're not feeding the, the whole town, so uh, we just got the, uh, the shrimp. Got the fish, the fish is still cooking. 
actually that looks like it's almost done a lot of fats cooked out of it but uh it's looking pretty good looking looking tasty first time i've cooked on one of these planks too uh normally we don't but figured i'd try something else but uh we're gonna get that done get the shrimp done get it all together and be right back all right guys so here's the finished product got the uh the rice the fish then the shrimp etouffee on top <laughs> um this is basically what you get in a uh, restaurant at least here in south louisiana with you know getting something with uh, a redfish etouffee uh, redfish and shrimp etouffee <laughs> Jazz was happy to be eating her, her fish. So, but um, yeah, I mean, I didn't really get it too blackened. Um, I did take it off of the little wood planks and put it on the uh, a skillet, but uh, I mean, it was already cooked, so I didn't want to overcook it. Um, how is it? <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, it's really good. I mean, you got the etouffee, really good uh, flavor because I like mine really, really thick. Mm -hmm. I don't like it creamy. I mean, um, thin like mashed potatoes and gravy. And I like to use a, a dark roux. So, uh, when I first put the shrimp in. It was real watery, and so what I did, I let the shrimp cook in it for a while, and then took the shrimp out, and I let it simmer down, and thicken up, so, um, I mean, what I'm going to do, well, you know, obviously, you would have seen it now, but what I've decided to do, you know, I'm going to put a little bit of the footage of uh, us catching the fish, uh at the beginning of this that way it's a kind of a catch and cook video um I, instead of going back taking the video down that i've already got set up um to to come out i think tomorrow um and instead of doing all that and then adding this into it making a longer video i'll just use some of the footage from that um yeah basically yeah like a recap but um yep yeah, uh I mean, this is kind of a thing. We get it at the restaurant. I always love it. And, I'm, you know, now that we've got some redfish and a black drum, we'll ju I'll just do it at home. And um, I know there's going to be some people that m might come across this and be like, oh, the black drum have worms. So this black drum did have worms in the tail, like at the only at the base of the tail. I went through it, made sure there wasn't any worms in any of the rest of it. Basically, this would be like the uh, back portion, you know, above the ribs. Okay, that, that's pretty much all we kept off of it. Uh, it was a really good, healthy fish, so I didn't think it was going to have worms, even though it was as big as it was. And it didn't have much. Uh, like I said, it was only in the, the last probably five or six inches of the tail. Um, and it, it, I've, I've seen of course i'm not gonna sit there and have what looks like spaghetti noodles in the meat and then try and cook it but i have heard that you, it they're not harmful to people but i'm just not gonna <laughs> not gonna bring that home and put it on the table um so the the other we'll get some more sheep head before you do that yeah no I'm, but uh we'll go catch sheep head before we start trying to keep uh Hardhead something. Oh, yeah, even the hardhead catfish I'd eat before I eat the, the wormy drum. <laughs> um, but the... Uh, um, no, no, no. The, the other black drum that she had caught, it looked real skinny. So I was like, I didn't trust it. I know a lot of times if they look like that, they're going to have worms, which is why we kept the bigger one that I caught. Because it, it, it wasn't real skinny. It, it looked healthy. So. What? Hope you guys 
enjoy the videos i know like i said i've, I've had a hard time uploading getting footage rather to upload and then you see like during the week when i'm in class it'll be decent weather and then weekend comes around and it's you know below freezing or wind blowing 100 miles an hour <laughs> sometimes both but you know, uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already and see y'all next time hopefully on the water Well, he's going to come with the job. Watch out. So welcome to my show. Everybody grab your fishing pole. That's a team. Come on now, let's go.